Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about delay line cancellers. In the case of MTI and pulse Doppler radar, the output of the receiver is given to delay line cancellor. If you observe the block diagrams of MTI radar and pulse Doppler radar, the output is connected to delay to delay line cancellor. It shows like a two delay line cancellor from the receiver output. So delay line cancellers are used in MTI and pulse Doppler radars. MTI and pulse Doppler radars because the output of the receiver is a bipolar video pattern. The output of the output of receiver in these two MTI radar or pulse Doppler radar is a bipolar video pattern. So, what do you mean by bipolar video pattern? Here, the bipolar video pattern has to be converted into unipolar video pattern in order to display on the PPA display. Okay, bipolar video pattern to unipolar video pattern can be converted by using your delay line canceller. That is the main purpose of delay line canceller. So, uh, what do you mean by bipolar video pattern? Suppose when you are transmitting a pulse waveform, the resultant echo signal will be having the echoes from stationary target and as well as moving target. Okay, among large number of clutters, we are going to find out what where is the uh, moving target. So, when you are transmitting a pulse waveform, we are waiting some time for the, uh, let us consider this is the transmitted signal. Okay, so this is the waiting period to receive the echo signals, waiting period to receive the echo signals. So, in this received period, we are receiving a signals like uh, Okay, let us consider this is the waveform we have received in this waiting period. What do you mean by this one? Wherever you are having these peaks, okay, there you are having some targets. By seeing the first or one, one and only one waveform, you cannot estimate which is the moving target and which is the stationary target. Definitely, you should go for the second waveform. I told you this concept in the butterfly effect. If you have any doubt, you can go and see the butterfly effect video. Okay, now if you take the second waveform, you will be having a amplitude like this. See this amplitude goes down. That means the target is moving away from the radar system. Previously, the target is there at one position, but when you are going for the second cycle, the target is relocating its position. It is moving towards or away from the radar system. Suppose if it is moving towards the radar system, the amplitude might increase like this than the previous cycle. So from cycle to cycle, what happens? The amplitude of stationary target keeps same, but the amplitude of moving target is keep on changing from cycle to cycle, from one cycle to second cycle. Okay, so the pattern when you are showing the A-scope display, so this type of waveform can be displayed. This waveform can be displayed. You can write this here. So this waveform can be displayed on A-scope display. A-scope display without any problem. So, these type of waveforms can be displayed on A-scope display because A-scope display is like your CRO which can display both uh, positive peaks and as well as negative peaks. See, observe these waveforms. These waveforms are having positive and as well as negative. That means it is having bipolar, bipolar video pattern. So, that signal is used to display the information related to targets. So let us consider it may be a stationary target or a moving target. So, it is a signal which is a bipolar signal. But what about the PPA display? PPA display is a plan position indicator. Plan position indicator. This plan position indicator will show a waveform, will not show any waveforms. It is having the, some concentric circles like this and the uh, what is the target information will be shown like blips like this blips are nothing but some points on the screen so depending on these points we can say that our radar position is at the center so depending on the positions we can estimate what is the distance that the target is located 
so it gives some range at an angle theta the ppi display will display the information will give the information range at an angle theta but it is it will not contain any bipolar video pattern like your s code display so ppi supports plan position indicator supports unipolar video pattern unipolar video pattern okay so but by default the output of mdi radar and pulse doppler radar they are having a bipolar video pattern like this one so in, uh, in order to display such waveforms on the ppi display it is very difficult because it cannot be the pattern of ppi display is completely different from the output of uh, mdi radar and pulse doppler radar so we need to convert the bipolar video pattern into unipolar video video pattern so there is the concept of delay line canceller so delay line canceller is a device used to convert a bipolar video pattern bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern unipolar video pattern or you can also say that it is as it is having a both the positive and negative peaks you can uh, call it as an ac component and a unipolar uh, video pattern can be called it as dc component or you can also say ac component to ac component to dc component ac component to dc component conversion okay so a uh, delay line canceller can be used to convert a bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern or ac component into dc component so understand the conversion is only for the purpose of displaying on the ppi display because s curve display has the ability to display both positive and negative peaks but the ppi display cannot display uh, such type of information in positive and as well as negative because of its uh, original property like a blips now let us see the block diagram which is used to convert the bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern see here nothing we are doing we are taking two successive uh, received signals i told you already let us consider this is the received signal for the first pulse for the second pulse i am receiving a signal like this okay let us consider this is a small peak due to one target this is a small peak due to a uh, big peak due to one more target this is target one this is target two and this is the second cycle output second cycle output when you give these two to a subtractor which component is remained and which component is eliminated when these two are given to subtractor which is having constant amplitudes in these two waveforms which is having constant amplitudes that will be going away that will be subtracted and which is having variable amplitude suppose here we will be let us consider just for example if this is 5 plus 5 volts and this is plus 1 here it is plus 1 here it is something like 0 then what happens when you are applying these two to a subtractor this plus 5 and uh, subtracted to minus something like a 4 and again this is like 1 okay so we will be having some residue only due to moving targets and remaining all peaks are going to be eliminated when you are giving to the subtractor which cycles you are giving to the subtractor first cycle and second cycle that means successive cycles one is the delayed version of the previous one okay the same concept now we are taking in the design of delay line canceller so the output of first receiver output receiver may be mta receiver or pulse doppler radar receiver the output of this one is nothing but two we need to apply to the delay line canceller which is a bipolar video pattern so the output of direct receiver is nothing but a bipolar video pattern it needs to be converted into unipolar video pattern in order to display on the ppa display see what happens one uh, a subtractor circuit we are taking as i told there subtractor circuit we are taking this subtractor circuit is having one is direct input another one is the delayed input 
another one is the delayed line with a pulse repetition frequency or a pulse repetition period that means one cycle okay exactly one cycle see uh, suppose this is the transmitted signal first we are giving the output due to this first and the second for the second uh, time we are giving the output due to this pulse okay so we are taking a delay line delay line that's why it is delay line canceller delay line is used to cancel the stationary targets so that's why it is delay line canceller delay line we are using to cancel the what is that stationary targets okay so we are giving these two to the subtractor subtractor circuit will subtract these two but ac this is also some ac it is like a fluctuating okay but we need a complete a pure dc so ac to dc converter is there that is nothing but rectifier ac to dc signal conversion is there into full wave rectifier we are using okay now the output is purely a unipolar video pattern okay so the bipolar video pattern has been converted into unipolar video pattern okay this is the how this is how the uh, bipolar video pattern has to be converted into unipolar uh, in order to display on ppa display once the signal has been converted into unipolar then we can directly apply the dc component to the ppa so that it shows some value at a particular distance r at an angle theta okay uh, suppose how uh, you may have a doubt that delay line canceller in the case of delay line canceller what we are doing we are applying some delay how much delay we are applying suppose delay line delays amount of delay amount of milliseconds to the em signal is somewhat difficult to apply difficult to apply so this type of delays this amount of delays milliseconds of delays to the em signal uh, we cannot apply because em signal is having a velocity which is very high light velocity 3 into 10 power of 8 meters per second so how to apply this much of uh, small delays to that high speed signals so we need to convert we need to convert the em signal to acoustic signal first we need to convert em signal to acoustic signal this is the first step second step is apply delay to that acoustic signal so what do you mean by acoustic signal acoustic signal is nothing but your something like sound wave which is having a speed is 10 power minus 5 times of light velocity or em velocity okay so speed of this acoustic signal is 10 power minus 5 times of light velocity so that's why it is very um, slow signal compared to the emc signal so we first we need to convert em signal into acoustic signal then we are applying the delay towards the acoustic signal how much delay is there in terms of milliseconds again we need to convert convert the acoustic signal back to em signal and then we need to apply towards the subtractor okay this is the way how we are applying a delay towards the em signal and then we are uh, subtracting the delay subtracting the current signal and the past signal so that to get the stationary and to eliminate the stationary targets and to get the moving target echoes and they will be converted into full wave rectification after that it will be having only dc component okay this is the way how the delay line cancellers are working okay thank you